How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Collum. Your Tucson Roadrunners hit the ice at the TCC against the Ontario Rain. Let's head on out to the Tucson Arena. And gotta love this. Trailing by goal and rookie Kevin Hancock is doing it and doing it and doing it well. That'll tie things up 1-1 one, one and later. There's a bit of a scuffle. Come on. Why I gotta put up your nukes. The Roadrunners the end up winning 6-3. Who wins the fight? Who knows? The Roadrunners play Saturday at 7 p.m. at the TCC. Hey, Coach Kevin Sumlin and the U of A football team have finally hired a defensive coordinator. It was made official this afternoon on the last day of the 72-hour early signing period. More on Arizona's recruits in a bit. But first, hey, Coach Sumlin, welcoming to the old Pueblo the former Iowa State head coach and most recently UCLA defensive back coach Paul Rhodes. Rhodes is replacing Marcel Yates, who was fired October 27th. Arizona ranked last in the Pac-12 in scoring defense and overall defense. But hey, back to Paul Rhodes, who is heading to the U of A, as mentioned, from UCLA. Before that, he was Arkansas's defensive coordinator and defensive backs coach. That followed a six-year stint at head coach at Iowa State. Some career highlights include 31 years of coaching experience with nine as a Power 5 defensive coordinator and seven as a Power 5 head coach. Rhodes is a veteran of 10 bowl games, while at Pittsburgh, five of his defensive ranked in the top 30 nationally, while three ranked in the top 12 in the NCAA and fewest yards allowed. As head coach at Iowa State, Rhodes led the Cyclones to four wins over ranked opponents, including a six-point victory over then number two ranked Oklahoma State in 2011. The biggest thing that, that he brings to the table is everybody – that, that, that I know is is um, a tenacity, a, a defense that's going to play hard. That I'm excited to be joining Kevin's staff. He and I have known each other for a long time, competing against each other, as he said, recruiting against each other and so forth, and uh, thrilled about the opportunity to be here and lead this defense. Hey, working with the old Pueblo, my friend. Meanwhile, the 72-hour early signing period is over with, and Arizona's class ranks second to last in the Pac-12. In last place, USC, yes, you heard me right. A proud college who retained Clay Helton as head coach, finished last in early recruiting. As for the U of A, well, 12 players have been signed. Ten of those players are three-star athletes. Still no four- or five-star recruits at this point. We have a full list of the signees on KVOA.com. Moving on, Coach Sean Miller talked to the media this afternoon as the Basket Cats get set to host St. John's at Miguel Center this Saturday and hope to rebound from back-to-back -back losses at Baylor and against Gonzaga. So what did Arizona learn from the loss? Um, I think it was mostly like defensive stuff. We have to communicate better for sure. We have to play, uh, just work together better defensively, uh, playing off of each other, uh, helping each other on defense. And hey, defense is the name of the game. And quickly, the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl handed out free tickets again at the New Year's Eve, or to the New Year's Eve game rather, at Arizona Stadium and helped raise tens of thousands of dollars for today's miracle in El Barrio at St. John's. News 4 Tucson executive producer Steve Nunez helped found the program almost two decades ago. Hundreds of needy families got gifts, all thanks to this special program and thanks to the long running folks at the Arizona Bowl. It helped us a lot and like, I don't know how to explain it. I have six kids, so for me it's hard over the years. affecting a lot of families, families rather in very positive ways. We'll be right back with Last Look at Your Weather.